they just buy it. Mm. With all that fashion, I know that super duper high quality. Just a sharing and inspiration okay. of an avocado toast. It's also a great way for the blenders not to go spoiled. Allegra is very excited for baby to come. We'll check back with you with a final result how it's all coming together. Hi guys, good morning. So happy to welcome you on my channel again. I'm back with your favorite section of my channel, which is what I did in a day, but this one is a really special one because today we will be doing what I did in a day while pregnant. A little disclaimer, I decide not to specify the quantity of things that I eat. So you will not know if I eat one banana or two banana or five uh, tablespoons of peanut butter. <laughs> so things like this. I'll just show you a general idea, but not the quantity. Some of it will be quantity just because it's kind of impossible not to show quantities, but overall I'll try not to specify so this way you don't have to compare your diet with mine as much. We have Allegra here. I also wanted to make this video special and fun. As you know during pregnancy you definitely change your wardrobe, so I'm uh, currently 26 27 weeks pregnant so the belly is starting to show and I will incorporate also in this video some cute maternity looks but I'm that type of person I don't like to buy too much of maternity brands clothing I just like to buy it from regular brands so I can actually wear it after the pregnancy so I've got some really cute stuff for you guys this is by the way uh, my new favorite robe made out of this luxurious beautiful silk but I'll talk about it a little bit later. Let's rock and roll! Before we start, I wanted to show you my belly. It's kind of popping but not popping as much. Especially it's popping kind of towards the evening to be honest with you. That's kind of how I look right now. Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. We are kind of in pre-breakfast time because I'm planning to go work out and usually before going to work out, I don't like to eat heavy breakfast just because especially now when you're like pregnant and you're jumping around, things are like coming up. <laughs> Thank you. So I usually have breakfast after the workout. For the pre-breakfast, I usually like to have my green juice that I always drink. Sometimes even I make it with mommy. Exactly, and sometimes I like to make it with me. That I've been always drinking before the pregnancy is celery, cucumber, lemon, I, orange, I and it. apple. And I used to go work out kind of on an empty stomach after the juice and an espresso. And right now I honestly cannot do it. Like I feel like I need to eat. So I would have a banana with some nut butters. It's from Nut So found on Amazon and honestly it's been the best nut butter I ever tried. It tastes it's so good. So good. Cashew, almond, Brazil nuts, flaxseed, chia, hazelnut, pumpkin and a little bit of salt. So I kind of put it on top of the banana and oh. just eat it. And also I do have a coffee. <laughs> one cup of coffee in the morning. My doctor said I can have a one cup of coffee. <laughs> Honestly, like on the second pregnancy, I cannot do it without coffee. One cup of coffee for me was always a must this pregnancy. No more than one with almond milk. So it's almond milk cappuccino. And that's kind of my uh, pre-breakfast workout. Pre-workout breakfast. Pre-breakfast pre-workout. <laughs> Such a strange name. Barista. I made the whole thing. You made the whole thing beautiful. This is like not the most appetizing or elegant way of eating, but I literally just open the banana and I just scoop out of a jar and I just bite it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Allegra is very excited for baby to come, right? And what are we gonna do? Organize? Baby. Okay guys, as promised, before we're moving on to cooking lunch, a little fashion break. We all love fashion, I know that. So a little inspiration for those who are pregnant. I'm not big on buying pregnancy brands. I do love to invest more into pieces that kind of don't look like pregnancy clothing because I can also wear them later on. Like I can tailor them in a smaller size and wear later. Let's 
take a closer look in the mirror. This is fully silk outfit. Let's just focus on pants. I obviously sized up a little, so I have room for later. And I just wear this silk blouse from Lily Silk over it. So it's kind of like hiding the situation here. Those pants made from mulberry silk, which is wrinkle resistant. It's super, super duper high quality. Uh, I love that it's not too thin, so it's actually like more of a kind of thicker silk, which I personally prefer. Beside the fact that it's a little bit of a thicker silk, it still feels breathable, it still feels luxurious. Honestly, I'm all about those kind of comfort looks those days. You can style them together with heels, you can style them together with sneakers. I feel like it's a really kind of easy look that you can wear from day to night. I have like a little mess station here, but I have a lot of looks from Lily Silk and I honestly is obsessed with the quality. They are primary silk based brands, so a lot of things contain silk or 100% silk and honestly just feels so nice on skin. Also wanted to show you this very pregnancy friendly dress, very comfortable. I feel like I will wear this until nine months for sure. I love this off shoulder detail. It's made of spun silk yarn, so super comfortable. Also, I love the pleated detail that gives a lot of kind of flow and flexibility. You can style this dress also both ways, for night and for day. I love how versatile it is. You can wear for day with slides and for night with high heels. I feel like it's very classy, very elegant, very timeless piece. Okay guys, so if you wish to check out this awesome brand, all the info in the description box, we also got some special offers for you with discount codes. So make sure to check it out. It's really a wearable, beautiful, luxurious brand for a pretty good price. I can can tell you as somebody who knows a little bit about the quality of clothing hope you like it kitchen we're on to cooking lunch and you know I'm big on salads when it comes to lunch I usually kind of improvise the salads because it depending on what I have in my fridge I feel like lunch is a time for me to like clean out my fridge lunch are usually fast and easy for me because I don't have time to like make a proper like huge meal unless I have a leftovers maybe so I feel like salad with like an avocado toast, my most executed lunches. So today I have the baby butter heads, this kind of salads, one of my favorites. I always keep organic corn canned in my kitchen. I feel like it's always adds like a and good- And sometimes I eat. It always adds like a good amount of carbs into a salad. It becomes more filling, also super easy and tasty. And also I'm gonna be using canned not tuna salmon. As you know, during pregnancy, you have to be super careful for the mercury intake. I wasn't eating any fish, like that is big fish or any canned fish. And my mercury levels were kind of up before the pregnancy. So I just did a blood work like one week ago and the doctor was like, wow, your mercury is completely down. So that means like I wasn't consuming any mercury throughout my pregnancy. So I'm still very careful, but I do allow myself sometimes now to have a good like tuna salad or today salmon salad. And also we'll throw some tomatoes right now those tomatoes that sells in whole food are so good it's like a farm tomatoes and we're gonna have a side of avocado toast with some i think parmesan on top I also decide to add last minute some olives 
and some dill. I feel like usually dill with salmon works really well. As I said, whatever I have in my fridge, I'm <laughs> just dumping it in. For the dressing, we're gonna do very simple. We're gonna do olive oil, salt, pepper, and lemon. That's it. So guys, just a sharing and inspiration of an avocado toast with feta cheese. I usually do it with parmesan cheese, but I feel like the feta, it's not many people tried it but I highly suggest you to try it because it's such a delicious combo. By the way, this is not sponsored, but I wanted to share that I found this nut butter on Amazon, nut zo, and it's delicious, honestly, like the best nut butter I ever tried in my life. So right now I'm onto cooking a little snack, and for snack, I a lot of times love to do smoothie. Smoothies are super easy, and also I like the fact that I can add protein powder into it, so it's like an extra intake of a protein for me. I use sweet cherries, pineapple chunks. Honestly, whatever I have frozen in my fridge, I take it and also one frozen banana for fruits it's also a great way for the bananas not to go spoiled like whatever bananas are getting dark i just freeze them for smoothies for the protein powder i use this one epic protein it's a very clean protein powder that is easy to digest and it's vegan i'm not vegan but i like vegan protein powder and we also will need any nut butter and almond milk. That's pretty much it. I usually do it for the whole family and Allegri is like always laughing that I'm sneaking in some fruit that she doesn't like, like she doesn't like pineapple, but I'm putting it in and she's like, mommy, you're so sneaky. Honestly, you can even sneak there some veggies, like spinach or something like this, but today I'm not going to do that. It's really my favorite smoothie combo ever. Okay guys, since we decided to be honest here, I also have a slice of pizza from yesterday restaurant. We went to a restaurant yesterday and terribly over-ordered, so smoothie and pizza for a snack. Why not? Okay guys, I'm back to my kitchen. It's time to cook dinner. I cook dinner today a little bit earlier because I just want to make sure the dinner is cooked and then I'm gonna feed the whole family. So it's a dinner for everyone. Everyone will eat what I cook, no other choice. So today we're doing a salmon baked in the oven. It's very healthy with leeks, asparagus, some lemon. Then we'll need also thyme. We will need mustard Dijon, some honey, and olive oil. Take a second, it's not sponsored, just wanted to also put in here. I recently changed my salmon. I used to buy it from the grocery store and I find it quite challenging to find a good salmon that is not farm raised, but just like wild salmon. So I basically subscribe to this company. It's called Wild Alaskan Company and they send you a box. They have different type of fish. They have salmon, they have white fish, they have shrimps, like whatever you need. And it's all wild caught. And uh, the best part about it, they actually freeze it when they catch it. So the fish have no time to like lay around, which I think is healthy. And today is all about leeks because I'm also actually gonna be making a leek soup. It's here. It's a leek soup I made one week ago. I put it in the freezer because I made like a big batch and you can kind of freeze it and defreeze it whenever you need it and just put it in a stove, boil it a little, put a little bit of cream and it's ready to go. I'm all about food prep. I think it saves so much time. So if I can do a batch of something and freeze it and then save my time later, that's the recipe I need. So guys, let's go over again what I'm making today for dinner. I'm making a salmon in the oven with leeks and asparagus. I'm making a side of salad and I'm making leek potato soup that I already pre-made a week ago. I just need to kind of finish it up. Get it, 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 get it,
So we have right now uh, leeks cut and cleaned and also asparagus cleaned and cut. We're gonna toss them in a bowl. So here we also have crab sauce for our fish. It's Dijon mustard, salt, lemon, a little bit of honey and some olive oil. So after we finish all the garnish on top of the uh, salmon, make sure you kind of close it in each piece. And I'm gonna make three of them for myself, Valeria and Allegra. It's ready, I'm gonna send it in right now. It says in the recipe we should do like 10 minutes usually, but it does better with honestly only like nine minutes. I like it a little bit like undercooked so it's moist and not dry. Okay, so let's go over the salad ingredients that I already prepped. I like to make salads right before I serve just so I prevent salad leaf from becoming like saggy and watery so they're more crisp but i did pre-make already the sauce i think the homemade salad dressing is the key it's olive oil lemon honey salt pepper everything just whisked together i also toasted nuts i buy this kind of blanched almonds and i toast them well because i do feel like toasted almonds makes the whole difference I bought dried organic cranberries just to give a little sweetness, fresh washed arugula, and we're gonna shave also parmesan cheese on top. I'm off to bathe Allegra, get her ready for bed. So I will check back with you with a final result, how it's all coming together. Allegra is sleeping, so I'm back to the kitchen. Wanted to show you a final result of a salad, really delicious salad. If we're gonna share with Valeria, I usually make it like in a big bowl, family style. Also, I prepared this kind of potato leek cream soup that is really good. As I said, I love this kind of recipes that you can prep and kind of save your time. I prepared from scratch the soup about a week ago. I froze half of it, so I defreeze it today. Just boiling and adding cream, so it's like last touch, so it still feels fresh. I have salmon in the oven. That's the last thing that I'm finishing up, and that's it. So for drinks, I've been craving this soda which is San Pellegrino Aranciata. I love this one. It's one of my favorite. Not the most healthiest choice, but the life is about balance. <laughs> I mean, it is kind of healthy. There is no chemicals, but a lot of sugar, especially before going to bed. <laughs> so we just got off the oven this beauty. Let's unwrap it together. It's just very juicy piece of salmon with leeks, asparagus, a little bit of lemon and mustard sauce. Smells so delicious. Okay ladies, wrapping up my video. <laughs> it's nighttime, everyone is in bed. I mean everyone, uh, Allegra is in bed, Valeria is still watching TV. But I wanted to talk about the water intake that is so important, especially during pregnancy. I probably increase it to two and a half, three liters right now. I drink a lot, like I'm always thirsty. It doesn't help at night, always go to the bathroom. But I do keep the water on my nightstand, so in case if I feel thirsty at night, I can always drink it. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And if you wish to check out Lily Silk, the brand I mentioned in my fashion section, of this video please go down below in the description of this video you can find all the links everything there thank you again for being here with me i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one ciao good night <laughs>